Well, g'day, welcome to Stu's Shed YouTube Chronicles. Had a, uh, a bit of a prompt last night on uh, from someone just asking how I was going with the uh, the linseed oil experiment, and um, just happened to be today it was a quite a good uh, time to give that a try, and I haven't actually got around to doing it. So uh, thanks for the prompt, and I'm just running the data now. So what I've got here is a rag which I've saturated somewhat with uh, linseed oil and I'm just using this uh, here which is just raw linseed oil and basically what's what it's uh, simulating is I've used this rag to, to rub down some wood and it's become pretty saturated and I've screwed it up and I've thrown it in the bin now what I've got sticking out of it is a thermocouple and that's connected up to my computer and what I can do with that is log the temperature increases now I'm starting this at the moment around about 10.20 in the morning and I'm not sure how long this will actually run for but we'll just sort of watch the data as it goes. Um, there will be some temperature increases obviously just because of the uh, as the day gets warmer but I'm expecting to see, well I don't know what I'm expecting to see, I'm guessing that there will be a, a significantly faster increase in temperature inside if there is some uh, somewhat spontaneous combustion uh, happening. So that's the uh, the setup for the experiment. Um, oh, the other thing is that's actually sitting in a wheelbarrow outside my door, so if things start getting a little bit hairy, I can easily move the whole experiment well away from the shed. Uh, certainly didn't want uh, to uh, do something that may actually cause a fire inside the shed if, I, uh, if uh, it happened to go that way. And just from a safety aspect, I do actually have a fire extinguisher quite close at hand. So um, I've got that covered as well, and I do have a hose outside as well. So I'm not expecting to cause an actual fire, but I would like to see if it just uh, ends up causing a little bit of smoke or, uh, or at least a significant spike in temperature. So that's the, uh, the start of the experiment. The temperature is currently running around about 22.7 degrees. And uh, let's see how it progresses.